in marriage. You now have the opportunity to display Christ in your marriage. For 20-something years, both of you have been doing that individually, and praise be to God for that. But now you come together in partnership, and your marriage is a testament unto the world of what it looks like to clothe yourselves with compassion and kindness and humility and gentleness and patience. I celebrate that we are building this marriage this evening in, in front of friends and family upon the solid rock that is the gift and the blood of Jesus Christ. And that is just something that makes my pastoral heart rejoice. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Samuel, take you, Lydia. I, Samuel, take you, Lydia, to be my wedded wife. In the name of God. I, Lydia, take you, Samuel. I, Lydia, take you, Samuel to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. Now that Samuel and Lydia have given themselves to one another by solemn vows with the joining of hands as well as the giving and the receiving of rings, I announce to you on this day that they are husband and wife in the name of our Heavenly Father. Let those who God has joined together, let no person put them. 